Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I know you saw the thumbnail. We are going to be making the most famous burger originated from out of Oklahoma back in the 1926 called the Onion Burger. This burger was created during the Depression when meat was hot and onions were very cheap. So this is the only way that they were able to stretch meals by combining the two. The specific smash burger became a national treasure that was mentioned for many years to this day. Okay guys, so that's the little history behind it. So let's get started with this uh, fried onion burger. So first you wanna start by slicing your onion. I have one whole white onion here. You wanna slice this paper thin. You can even do this by knife or use a mandolin like I'm going to do to make this process a bit easier. But I'm gonna get rid of the root because I didn't do that earlier. So now I'm going to put my attachment on. There we have it. And I have it on a thin setting. And I'm going to place this over the bowl so that it can catch all of the onions so I don't have any mess to pick up later or the onions, period. I'm just gonna continue to go back and forth until this onion disappears. Okay. We are almost there. Made a little mess, but not much. Okay, so that's good enough. You want to remove these big chunks because this is definitely not needed for what we are going to be doing. Okay, so. Remove these onions from here. Now this is what you want your onions to be this thin. I'm going to break these up. Then I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of salt so I can draw out the moisture from out of these onions so that they can fry correctly for this burger. Now, this is the authentic way to do that. You don't have to do this step, but to make it the correct way, this is what you will want to do. But if not, you can just slice the onions just like this and fry it the way that we are going to fry it in a few minutes. So see this? This is what you want. So I'm gonna add that half a tablespoon of kosher salt. And then we're gonna let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now this isn't gonna make it salty at all. It's gonna draw out all of the moisture and that's about it. Oh, somebody wants to leave. And then after you draw out the moisture from this, after letting it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, you wanna drain this to get all of the excess water off of these onions before you put them into the pan with your burger. Now, you wanna do that because you don't want it to be soggy. You wanna develop a crust on your burger when you are starting the frying process. So see, right here you can see how it's starting to look a little glossy. It's already starting to remove the moisture from it, which is a good thing. So I'm only gonna make about two of these so one onion is basically good for about two. And I'm gonna set this aside and we are going to, oh, I forgot these. I am going to roll out some balls in the size of a small baseball or a little bigger than a golf ball to make these patties. 
and this is about a pound of ground beef, which is 80-20. You definitely want to have 80-20. You need 80-20 for these type of burgers. And I'm also going to be using my special burger seasoning. If you want, you can uh, comment me in the section below and ask me exactly what it is. And if you want to use your own seasoning, that's okay. But the uh, seasoning known for these burgers are just salt and pepper. Okay? So I'm going to take a tad bit away. Okay, and this is what you want. This right here. So I'm going to set this aside and don't season your meat before you create these bowls because it will just draw out the moisture from the burger and you don't and it will become dry. You don't want that. Just a little bit more. And these are the best rolls to use, the uh, uh, potato rolls. If you want to use brioche rolls, that's fine, but they're a bit too sweet for what we are doing today. So there you have it. We got two bowls out of our 80-20 mix. And this is what it should look like. Guys, and the best cheese for this also, I forgot to mention earlier, is American cheese. That is part of the authentic way to make these burgers you can use whatever cheese you like whether it's cheddar swiss or any other cheese but i'm going to go with the traditional way here and just use the uh the, the american cheese so i'm going to preheat my griddle so we can get these burgers started and i'll be right back guys before we move on while our griddle is heating i just want to give you a quick glance of the onions of what they should look like. Kind of translucent, a bit soft. And you see the uh, the moisture that's coming from it. This is what you want. So you can set it for about 10, 15 minutes. And right now I'm going to drain this liquid off. And then I'm going to place the burgers onto the griddle. Okay guys, so let's get started. I'm gonna take a little bit of vegetable oil and put it just a little bit on both of the places where I'll be placing the burgers just to help get that crust. And this one is running down, that's fine. I will just brush it on. So what I'm going to do is take one of the, the meatball patties and season it a little bit on one side just so both sides can have seasoning. You don't need much. I'm going to use a piece of parchment paper so that it doesn't stick and smash this as hard as you can. It's okay if it seems to spread a whole lot because once it starts to cook, it's going to shrink anyway. So this will be perfect. Before I add the onions, I'm going to do the second patty the same way. Just season a little bit. Down in the oil. Get your parchment paper. Smash down as hard as you can. Like I said, it's okay if it spreads a whole lot because it's going to shrink. And I'm going to smash this one a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And that's it for that part. And I'm going to go ahead and season this side before I add my onions just a little bit because most of your flavor is going to come from the onions, which is a, a great flavor. So you don't need much season. Okay, I want to get around the edges. And that is fine. So now I'm going to go in with a generous amount of onions on both burgers.
And it's okay if the onions fall off to the side because that just adds extra flavor because some of them are gonna fry a little harder than others. And it's gonna, you know, some are gonna caramelize and that is gonna create the perfect flavor for these burgers. And when you do this, you'll see why this was, this burger became popular and people love them so much. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook until it gets a crust on the bottom. And I will be right back to show you guys exactly what that looks like. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so it's about that time to flip these burgers. I'm just gonna show you up close exactly what I mean about the onions starting to fry a little hotter. The summer caramelizing. This is exactly what you want because this is the way it's supposed to be. So here, I'm going to show you how to flip it which is pretty simple oh and there's that crust that i was telling you about on the burger you want it to look exactly like that now this is where you get most of your flavor from when the onions start to fry on one side that onion flavor is seeping into the burger itself and then when you put your buns on to warm up it's going to do the same so i'm going to come back when it's time to place those buns on and then add our cheese and i'll be right back so now that the onions are cooked midway i'm going to add the buns on top of the burgers so that they can start to soften up not that they aren't soft they are perfectly soft but just to catch up in heat with these burgers and also get some of that onion flavor infused into them. So this is what it's going to be for about the next two to three minutes because this burger is almost done. And as you can see, the onions are caramelizing and also some are fried hard. And the same thing with the one on the back. And this is what you wanna have. So next we are going to be adding that cheese. Wow, this is warm already adding that cheese to the burgers and then we're going to pull them off. So here's where we remove the buns so that we can add the cheese and we're going to be putting the buns back into this place. Can you see how there's some flavor on there and it's extra warm. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And there you have it. Now let that melt slightly. Then you're gonna add your buns back to the burger on top of the cheese. So the cheese has melted just enough. These burgers are done. I'm going to take these off and place the tops on, one with mustard and one with ketchup just the way that they were prepared back in 1926, mostly with mustard. So let's get these plated up. So this is exactly what you want to see. The onions are perfectly caramelized, fried, and steamed all in one. This is the way the burger is supposed to look. And now I'm just gonna put the tops on. One will be with mustard. and the other with ketchup. And there you have it, your Oklahoma onion fried burger. So guys, here's a close up so you can see it much better. This is what it's supposed to look like. Remember, this is from the 1920s, so it's not gonna be, you know, exactly what we see today, but He's uh, pretty good looking. Look at that. This is amazing. All right, guys, so there you have it. Your Oklahoma fried burgers. Guys, if you haven't already, like, share, comment, and make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified 
when I post another video. And I'm out of here. Until the next video. Thank you.